Which Nintendo villain has killed the most people? <laughs> now, this was a very interesting question for me as someone who has played a lot of these games. I was curious, which Nintendo vision, uh, villain has killed the most people? Let's rank most major Nintendo villains based on their canonical kill count. Okay, so we've seen a little bit of this, but I'm still watching it from the beginning just so we can see from the top. I can't believe he only killed one guy. He's supposed to be ruthless. Honestly, for a king, only killing one guy? That's a pretty good record, right? That means not a lot of people really challenge your reign. Especially when you reign over, like, crocodiles, right? Someone should kill him. The king? I'm sure many have tried. Actually, that's a good point. I bet there's a lot more people King K. Rool killed without us knowing about it. Hey, Kony, what's that on your shirt? Points a shirt with finger extended out and aimed right under your nose as I desperately try that to contain No, you, you didn't mention anything about flipping the, the finger up. Yeah, I'm skipping this one. I don't care about Metal Face. Three on-screen kills. Hold on. How gruesome are they? Does he kill Shulk? That was Shulk's bike. What the fuck? Isn't that a motorcycle? That's his girlfriend? His girlfriend is a bike? There's a girl in there. Okay. <laughs> so th she's in the bike. She isn't the bike. Okay. That feel when no bike girlfriend. Oh no! That guy was really old. This guy is also really old. What is this problem with the fucking geriatrics? Watch out, Coney. He might kill you next. Ban that fucking guy. Ban that person, please. I am at no risk of dying to Metal Face. These ge You think this guy is 33? Is this what you think the average 33-year-old looks like? Right there. This is a 33-year-old? He's 35. Oh, okay. This is my future. In just two years. That's me. Just naked. Jacked as hell, though. Honestly. This is music. Yeah. Okay. And we saw this one. Taboo. Kills a bunch of people. Although he just... I don't know. Like... In the Smash lore, is he like a stand-in for a human? Like, what's the... I feel like there's like an analogy here, right? He's your dad <laughs> telling you not to play with toys. And then Sonic comes in and beats him up. Yeah, shut up, dad! Sonic the Hedgehog knows best! Damn! 92? He killed 92 people? All blocks that great Mario power-ups are once toads. I did know that. And then Toad, and then Bowser, and Mario kills them when he jumps into them. Which is crazy lore. I can't believe they did that. Yeah, the, the blocks that you, you, you break in Mario are human beings. Why, why did they need to make those people? Why couldn't they just be blocks? <laughs> what psychotic storyteller decided that? I counted all the blocks in the game. Oh, power-ups. I didn't know it was the mushroom. So the mushroom is a dead toad? That's still fucked up. Okay, so so he only counted those. That resulted in 65 kills. That resulted in this limited this method to Mario Brothers as the later games clearly do not intend this to be canon. Less than 100, though. 27 bosses in Mario RPG that feature Bowser. Bowser himself didn't... There's a lot of characters in that game. Ridley murdered three scientists at the beginning of Super Metroid. Just three? Most notably, Ridley is responsible for the destruction of Samus' home colony. Why does he talk? Like, I don't understand. Everybody's like, oh, you gotta read the comic, uh, the comics. He, like, talks, and he's smart. He's a space pirate. What the fuck is that? While the exact population of the colony is unknown, it's rather small size leads me to believe it was only in the thousands. Okay. I could see why you would come up with that conclusion. <laughs> Look at this chapter name. <laughs> Who's number? Millions. Who's left? Oh, Ganon's still around. Yeah. Okay. Millions, dude? Canonically put the Zelda world into a, an apocalyptic state. Okay, sure. Repeatedly, too. Why, though? What's Ganon's, like, motivation? He, why does he want power if he can't do anything with it? He's destroying the world. Also, why does this guy always look like Falco? That shit look like Starbird. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's awake. Oh, I forgot Zelda was British. She is. Oh, my friend. 
friends. Oh my the friends. Kingdom. Safe to assume that a large part of the world's population died. Yep. While the population of the Zelda world was never stated, if we could compare it to a medieval Earth, it's likely in the millions. Okay, sure. That's not a bad. That you know what? I kind of like that. Sure. Yeah. This YouTuber's doing his research, man. I kind of like it. Okay, next one. Uh, billions. Oh God. Oh no. I guess he killed a, a galaxy, right? Andros's wars brought an entire solar system. Oh. Okay. Horrible. Dude, these games are dark. I didn't realize. Three planets in the Lilat system have advanced civilizations. Okay. <laughs> cool. Since Star Fox takes place in a futuristic setting, each of these planets probably hosted billions of lives. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Uh <laughs> Who's that? I don't know who that is. This is haunting. Hundreds of billions. What? Cyrus had the plan to destroy the universe so he could create a new one. Well, a plan isn't... Wait a minute. Ultra Sun and Moon's Rainbow Rocket episode introduced team bosses for parallel universes. These bosses all succeeded in their goals, which means the Cyrus of uh, Sun and Moon actually destroyed his home universe. Counting every human and Pokemon on... You can't count Pokemon. They're not people. Pokemon don't have souls. You can't count Pokemon, dude. We're not counting animals. We're not counting... Yeah, dude, no, this is stupid. No, because Ganon killed every bird and every every insect. This is stupid. This is dumb. Trillions of kills. Who could this be? What? <laughs> this fucking guy? This guy's a goofball. This game goes crazy. I d Okay, this is Super Paper Mario, by the way. No, this game does not go crazy. I played it before. Dude, there's like a 45-minute cutscene at the beginning of the game. It's crazy. They just talk to you and don't shut up. It's cinematic. It sucks. Count Black successfully destroyed an entire universe, I guess. This game is kind of fun, I guess. Once they stop talking. I don't know why you have to talk so much in paper fucking Mario, but... Has the Earth had a trillion... This is such a stupid question. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, maybe not. Have there... <laughs> I'm gonna ask anyway. How many people have there been ever? Have there been a trillion people ever? Because, like, there's seven billion now. Oh, well, then there we go. Oh, okay, so it's not a dumb question. 80% of all people who were born were born after 1800. Damn, really? So there's 117 billion people that were ever born. So we're not even a fifth of the way to a trillion. Damn. Depends on what you count as people, not animals. <laughs> not Pokemon. Pokemon are not people. The Mario universe is known to be filled with a large number of galaxies that contain intelligent life. Destroying a Mario universe likely yields a much higher kill count than destroying a Pokemon universe. Okay, number one. Who killed the most people ever? What Nintendo villain has killed the most people? <laughs> Infinite kills. What? That doesn't make sense. Infinite kills? Galeem needs little introduction. The opening cutscene of Smash Ultimate shows him destroying the Smash universe. Okay. He didn't kill them, yeah. Also, Kirby escaped. Okay, he destroys all of gaming. Sakurai confirmed in an interview that Galeem's attack reached into every universe represented in Smash. What kind of retconning is this? Oh yeah, he killed everybody. I can confirm that Galeem killed everybody you know and care about. Oh my god, he killed Mickey Mouse. That's true! He killed Mickey Mouse! And Goofy. And all of Disney. Quadrillions of kills! I can't even fathom that many people. Have there been a quadrillion thing <laughs> things on the planet that with life? What about a trillion? Surely there's a trillion, right? Think about bugs. Like ants and stuff. There's a quadrillion ants in your backyard. Wow, nature is amazing. 
Ask Tier Sue. <laughs> Hello. In your professional opinion, do you believe there have been one quadrillion? Leave the man alone. <laughs> he knows. He know. He he know. He gets it. I we do this all the time. I think there are currently quadrillions of bacteria. Now, th th what I'm trying to convey is they don't all have to be on the planet at once. There are 300 to 400 trillion Antarctic krill alive now. That is 30 Wait, minutes forty really? of a quadrillion. Oh my god. Antarctic krill. Oh my god, they're so cute. They're little shrimps. There's 300 to 400 million of these things? Oh my god, we're never gonna go hungry. Look at that. Just grab a handful of those. To be fair, there's a quadrillion reasons to sub the coming occasion. <laughs> Funny dodo. That's a good dodo. That's a very good dodo. Thank you. And true.